Here we are back with the struggle for Irish unity under the spectre of my own frail and malnourished frame. We shall see how things play out. But first... Mm, still in intrusive. Five more years. Well, that's a long time to be in a truth. I suppose it is time to press a claim up there for our good friend. To press a claim, we shall. And looking at all of this. We shouldn't need any help, but as you all figured, we're definitely calling in help. It's going to be the usual suspects. Nope, you are an ally. Where are our tributaries? Come on now. Don't be shy. We got you. And got you. And definitely got you. <laughs> this time we're going to leave a retinue at home. They need to replenish. They need time to recoup. Find their strength again. Right, so our commanders are all still there. Somewhere. Everyone. Well, not everyone, no. Alright. My kinswoman. Who... Well, let's have her be patient. We can live with a few malices for a while. Good. So let's have our buddies go on a sieging spree. And you guys attach to me. And you guys go each somewhere there, maybe. Ah, some technology from our spy. Good, good. We could invest a little bit here. Wouldn't be too bad, actually. Another blessed has passed. But we're really looking for military organization, honestly. Ooh, more points. I think they went into cultural advances. Actually, we're going to go for some legalism. Because we're kind of behind there. Already. So that's not the worst thing to have. We don't have a dwarf. So we can't have a court dwarf. No Tyrion Lannister for us. Let's put in some people who already kind of like us. Someone who's really good at everything. This guy. He may be our... Court Tutor. Not to be confused with our Court Tutor. Ah, yes. Jokes. Fun. Right, so our allies are poised. Doing their job.
Donatus Constantinus has contacted me asking if I have any interest in learning more about roses. Apparently his latest achievement involves the dark red variant mixed with a particular type of yellow wild rose. Well, that's just absolutely fascinating. Let's visit him and learn more about it. The Dominican order is in more... Yeah, well, they need more funds again. What a surprise. Now, let us have a look real quick. Do we want to continue being higher in this society? What do we get? Teach a virtue. That's not bad. We might be able to improve in an air or something. So, yeah. We're going to go donate to charity again. That's fine by us. It doesn't cost us the world. Here we go. Escorted through the gardens of the monastery, I immediately spot the work of Brother Constantinos. The roses are a delicate mixture of red and yellow, a hue of sunset at their center. They're beautiful, my escort nods, offering me a small spade. They're a little cramped over there, though. Would you mind helping out? Well, I would say... Oh, I can do that, I think. We have a 62% chance of having green fingers, plus one learning. Let's see what happens. Nothing really. Oh well. Alright, we're not sieging anything anymore. Because everything is sieged. Ah, uh, we don't want to fight that huge rebel army there. We'll just go join... Nope! Stop it. We're going to go join one of those other sieges there. My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Augustine again. And thus, we lose our trait of wrath. Meaning we are much less capable in combat. Alright, okay. So what just happened? Why did this war end? It's interesting because it sometimes happens. These things. So what happened? Exactly. We were fighting a war over this against him. However, he was fighting and losing to a rebel uprising. So what happened was in the Our war ended inconclusively because the guy we were fighting against was replaced by some other guy. So this is why this war just suddenly ended. Just went away. So now we have to fight again. Oh, we are now known as the Hollow. Well, look at her. That's no wonder. Good. We have a little piece of island here for whatever reason. Which means we can disband our troops there without any penalty. And we go back to war. Or without a... Yeah, well, okay, fine. Holy wars we could wage against them. What are you? You're a Catholic heresy Cathar. Anglo-Saxon. Well, 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 well. Ain't that just quite interesting? We could go in all the war for this little piece. Or for this little piece. Or for this little piece. Or for this little piece. Doesn't really... Let's just get our de jure claim down there. Because... That's what we wanted. Let's get that thing. And try this all again. Right. Army up. That's, well, tributary coming into you guys as well because you have quite the army. And who was our last tributary? These guys. We don't here really have troops, but not like you get a choice, my friend. Right, so let's converge.
Look at the British. Okay, let's set some sieges up. We would like him to siege here. And these two together to siege here. That might not work out. Why are my allies are all being beaten? What the hell? All of them are being beaten. Oh, I just clicked some death away. The alliance and non-aggression pact between us and someone else has been dissolved. Between this guy and us? Oh yeah, okay, well, fine. We're just going to get him to be our tributary eventually. So allies can be a detriment. Okay, now they're winning. Now I don't have to go there. They did lose me some pieces here, but it's fine. We'll take care of it all. We have some technology to discover. Let's see. Military. And we're going for go more organization. Because it increases morale of armies quite a bit. And even more retinues. We're really ahead of our times, which is why it's so costly. It's generally probably a better idea to have a more balanced... Um... Oh, no, you don't. I know you're not. Okay, we're going to hunt him down. Because I don't agree with these. Ah, our army didn't even have a commander on the one side there. Whoops. Right, who do you want to marry? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Let's, let's have that be your thing. Let's get this siege back. Oh! Nope, we're already done. Let's bring our people home. And... Have this war end. And we have won. As is custom. Now... He... Is not our direct vassal, and actually we should give a look uh, on our kingdom currently, because we, we are making things a little bit more difficult for us than it should be, or needs to be. See, there's this hierarchy. Counts, dukes, kings, empress. In that direction, just the other way around. Now, we're a king. The next level beneath us is a duke. We have two duchies. So, all counts inside of our duchies should and can be our direct vassals. So, we will have to deal with them. We'll have to deal with their happiness, their unhappiness, all that. But everyone else might as well be part of a duchy. So, we don't really have to uh, work with them. So, we're going to check this duchy over here as this, as their du jour area. They're actually this, but that doesn't matter to us, really. What we want is to transfer the vassal in this little county to his regency. Because he has a right to him, and he's going to like us for it. So what we're going to do is... Transfer vassalage is what we want to do. So now we get to select them. And... These shields don't really help us <laughs> uh, because they represent the family and not the county they hold. And we are looking for a uh, charek. Uh, probably a uh, charek. Can't find it. You. You are. He is already your liege. I don't. Oh, this guy is our direct vassal. So we need to transfer his vassalage to him, actually. Not to him. Okay, so... You. Bishop. With red. Let's do that. Bishop. Doesn't show up here. What is going on, I ask? 
Oh, I'm completely confused. He is... He is the subordinate of them. Not even him. I'm so sorry. But my point still stands. We have a few counts here that belong to someone else. Um, that we don't really need to take care of. Let's see. You are part of... The Pact Petty Kingdom of Ligon, which is all of this. So we can't do this. Who are you part of? You are part of the Duchy of Mead. And I believe we can create this title. So we shall. And set up a duke down here. All of these belong to someone. Mainly our husband, so we're going to turn him into a duke. So let's create this title over here. Create. Yes. And it has been created. Now we can only, without penalty, hold two duchy titles. And we don't want this one. So we're going to go find our husband. Grant him a landed title, which is the High Chiefdom of Mead. And we're going to include all lower titles, just in case we hold something down here. Which we don't want to hold. So there we go. He is now... A duke and has received this so this guy he's the jure part of this petty kingdom which I don't control right now so we could usurp it I don't think we can afford it oh we can afford it can afford it so let's do this let's usurp this county yes and we're going to give one of these guys, probably our kinsman, going to give him this high chiefdom. So we have to deal with one direct vassal less, which is good for us in the end. But the council doesn't agree, so they would like us to not do this. Let's see. Can we give the... I achieved him to him. Nope. Our council still does not feel like we should do that. So it's probably time to replace our council. Let's have a real quick look here. Yeah, definitely. So, our husband is a decent chancellor, but kind of terrible at everything else. So he will be here. Then we need to put these strong vassals in places where they... Kind of don't do all that much damage. So him we're going to have as our marshal. And our steward. Uh, let's let's replace our spy master really. By him. He's decent enough. So. Right, let's send him. Researching some technology over Saxony. Let's have him. Train troops for us. And he just performs statecraft because we don't really need to go and um, fabricate games anymore. We have enough to do without it. Now let's put some new titles, minor titles on people to improve relations even further. And another commander. There we go. Good. Let's see if these people feel a little bit different about granting those titles now. Yes, they do. See, already our council is much more happy with that idea. Now we have to set our commander again because the person we just set as a commander, and you see some people go out of these jobs because they were my vassal before, but now they're his vassal, so I'm no longer someone I can directly interact with, nor do I really need to. Right. Okay. So, he really loves us. We have pressed his claim, we have common interests, which I don't know exactly where it comes from, we granted him a duchy, we transferred a vassal, he's... Fond of our designated regent, or rather, no, he isn't because he's our husband. That's that explains a little bit. I thought it was this guy. Oh well, well, he's he's of my dynasty, so that's good. His heir is as well, and she dreams of marriage. 
Let's see if we can't find her someone who will help keep the line alive. 33. Uh, he's a bit old to be married to this genius here. We're going to give him this guy. Because we want our bloodline to grow and expand and be extensive and rich. That's all any girl dreams of, right? <laughs> Good, so now our troops are on their way back. Our retinue is fully reinforced and still kind of small, so we can actually have more retinue. Let's do that. Spend a bit of that prestige. Send down our troops. We could press this claim, yes, but really can't because we still got to choose. But we're eventually going to claim this for our duke. So, oops. If we check our vassal tab now, this is much more manageable. It's still a lot of counts, because we have a lot of counts in our own duchies. But if we actually went and became kind of sick of it, we could try to rearrange it all and give up one or two of these duchies to, you know, be, be reigned over by someone else. All right, okay, so a child likes focus, which isn't great. My half-brother should definitely be something, but not a schema, because people who have a, cl a claim on the kingdom, you don't really want to make them all that great. So I generally send them on learning, because they don't have a mind for ruling and becoming great and all those things. So there are some claims we can press against the Picts. Or are they... Are they Scotland now? Nope, still Pictland. We could... Press a claim for this piece here. Where we already have some cities in. Which are ours. We might want to consider this. Now one drawback... Of having dukes is... That you kind of need to take care of... The stronger ones. Keep them in line. Keep them... You know, walking in the right direction, really. But it's all manageable. Just as I said early in the beginning, somewhere, what you do, the focus, the things that you focus on, they shift a little bit. They shift. All right. 